May the Lord bless you all. You are welcome in the name of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Lord is about to do wonderful things this morning. And He will bless every home. I want to appreciate everyone for connecting on this uh, platform. The Lord who is able to do all things, we say to you in the name of Jesus. Glory be to the name of God. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. You are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God Almighty. Adoration be to His name. You are welcome. You are welcome. We bless the name of God for what He has been doing and for what He will do this morning. I welcome you, my sister. I welcome you, sir. I welcome you more. I welcome everybody on board. You are welcome. The Lord will bless you. Let us pray. Let us pray. Glory be to the name of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Rock of Ages, we bless your holy name. We thank you for your loving kindness. We bless you, we exalt you for what you have been doing from the first day, O oh Lord, to today, to this hour. We give you honor. We thank you, it can only be you, God. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for victory. Thank you for the revelation. Thank you for exposing the plan of the enemy. We worship you, Lord. We are grateful unto you. We bless your holy name. We give you honor. We give you praise. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you. My Father and my God, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we come to you once again this morning. Come and have your will. Every family connected, heaven will connect you. Heaven will say to you, you will see the goodness of God. You will see the favor of God. You will see the touch of God. Tonight will be another encounter. The Lord will speak to your situation. The Lord will deliver you. The Lord will liberate you. The Lord will fight for you. You will hold your peace. You will never be put to shame. I bind every power of darkness in and around you. I bind every operation of darkness. I come against every principality and power. I come against any power that want to attack us, that want to attack you, that want to stand against this prayer. I pray that the fire of God will consume them. Holy Ghost will consume them. Holy Ghost will consume them. Holy Ghost will consume them. You will not be weary, that sister. You will not be tired. Receive that strength. Receive the strength of God. For today's prayer, receive it, receive it. The remaining days, you will have testimony. Makapu katare baba. Any power that wants to waste your prayer, waste your, your, your night, waste your time, they shall be wasted. Everyone will waste them. Holy Ghost, have your way. Glorify yourself, O Lord. Manifest your power and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Once again, you are welcome. You are welcome. Now... We want to start to worship the name of God. We want to bless Him. I want to appreciate everyone. I love you with the love of God. And I want to bless God for your life. For the love you have for the call of God over my life. And I pray for you that heaven will give you a surprise package in the name of Jesus. Once again, I bless the name of God for your life. Everyone as you are connecting, I'm seeing you and appreciating you. It is well with you. In the name of Jesus. Then you should know live so if there's any of your friend or anybody you know that want to connect on this instagram we are there on pastor peace i think you saw you let them just search for it you can watch live there then as usual please invite your friend look around if there's any of your friend that has that is here to connect your family your children your son your daughter or anybody call them now i want to give you one minute to call them call them call them then at your at your at your phone there press share button thank god for those who are doing watch party pastor lumide and co and others you can you can see you doing watch party and people are very happy so you can do watch party connect with group connect with other friends you can do all those things or you share god will bless you in jesus name let us worship god we give glory to the lord in rain. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. Adoration to the Lord, He reigns, Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. Adoration to the Lord, He reigns. Power, 
All power belong to God. All power, all power belong to God. Honor, honor belong to God. All power, all power belong to God. Honor, honor belong to God. All power, all power belong to God. Ah, Jesus power. Super power, Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power, ah, super power, super power, super power, Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power, He has given us victory. I will lift him higher. I have the over. I will lift him higher. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the devil. Pata, pata. He has given us victory. I will lift him higher. I have the over. I will lift him It's a miracle walking God. It's a miracle walking God. Do. It's a Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle walking God. Miracle walker. It's a miracle walking God. Walking God. It's a miracle walking God. Do. It's a Alpha. An Omega is a miracle walking God. I want you to worship God. It's a miracle walking God. It's a miracle. It's a miracle walking God. Oh, it's a Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle walking God. Oh, Tisha, Baba Tisha, oh, oh Tisha, oh, Baba Tisha, oh. On ton ba wa le ru ba ba ti she o ti she o ti she o ba ba ti she o o ti she o ba ba ti she o on ton ba wa le ru ba ba ti she on ton ba wa le ru ba ba ti she he has on it for me he has on it for you he has on it for us he has on it for you what no cannot do he has on it for me. What my papa cannot do. He has on it for me. He has on it for all. So he has on it for all. Yes. Yes. He has on it for us. He has on it for us. What my father cannot do. He has on it for what no man cannot do. He has on it for us. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I want you to pick a song of your own. Pick that special song in your native language. I know some of you don't understand your language, but pick any song of any of your choice. And let's begin to use it to appreciate the Almighty God. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Eshewo Baba. Eshewo Jesu. Eshewo Baba. Eshewo Jesu. Kene Kapisan. Ori ren bi o ti po to laye ni pick your own song egberu ahan ko to fun yin re ese o baba ese se o baba ese o jesu ese o baba ese o jesu kini ka fi san O re re bi o ti po to la ye wa egbe ru wa ha ko to fun yin re ese o baba ese se o baba ese o jesus lord we worship you we bless your name in jesus name we pray amen 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 lord i pray as we come before your presence this morning, let the hand of God be upon everyone. Holy Spirit, take over. Any power, 
any witchcraft bed, any witchcraft card, any witchcraft spirit, any witchcraft serpent, any agent of darkness, any power on assignment to attack you and I, to attack your children, to attack our prayer. Holy Ghost, consume them, consume them, consume them, consume them, fire of God, consume them, fire of God, consume them. Today is the 20 day, the half day of this 40 <laughs> days we did. I pray. Any battle in your life that uh, follow this video with you to this 20 day, this morning, oh yeah, disappear, 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 disappear. In the name of Jesus, I command any power in the heavens, any principality and power, any strong man, any territorial power, any prince of darkness, any prince of Persia that want to hinder your prayer in the Kato Kataraba. The Bible says Daniel was before God for 21 days and some demons, some principality hindered his prayer. And now we are on the 20th day. Any principality that want to hinder your testimony that has been moving up and down to stop your miracle. Oh Lord, let there be divine intervention, divine intervention, divine reinforcement, divine turnaround. Your heaven is open. No hindrance, no manipulation. In the name of you, you that person that you are getting tired, you are getting weary. Devil is discouraging with that. Uh -uh. Nothing has even happened. And something is happening already. I decree now. Let God encourage you. You will finish wrong. You will finish with testimony. This time around, it will never be in vain. In the name of Jesus, do that person that you are just joining us within the last three days. God says tonight, you will receive your package. You will receive your miracle. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are taking a very, very powerful topic this morning. Which is titled, Prayer for Divine Protection and Immunity. Hallelujah. With what is going on in the world now, with the pandemic, that the whole world is scamping up and down, all you and I need is divine protection and immunity. Everyone here, the Lord will immunize you. The Lord will immunize you. The blood of God will immunize us in the name of Jesus. The protection of God will be sure in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it, to it and we are saved. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, as we run to the power of the Almighty God, we shall be saved. We shall be delivered. We shall be liberated. Which we shall be our portion. Which will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Divine prayer for divine protection and divine immunity. Let me share this. I want to share a testimony. Let me tell you. God see answers prayer. And God is a God that can heal, that can deliver, that can liberate. And He will heal and He will deliver you in Jesus' name. What am I saying? With this pandemic, nearly every day I'm receiving a call of people. On that has been affected, attacked seriously. In fact, up to yesterday, and by the grace of God, nearly all the people I have been praying for that God has been using me to pray for, God has been rescued. Them. There was a man in, in, in Italy. He, he left Nigeria to Italy. In fact, it's likely he's watching us now from Italy. He was attacked. Nearly everybody in his place of war were attacked. But by the mercy of God, when he called me, in fact, that was when I knew the gravity of coronavirus. He was camping for bread. Hey, pastor, I don't know this and that. And I started, the Lord asked me to pray for him. And I pray for him that you will not die. And I want to tell you, by the mercy of God, in fact, I may ask the person to make a call or to send his testimony. By the power of the Almighty God, within a week, he recovered. He was ill totally. He tested negative. Somebody who cannot breathe. And did you know, nearly everybody that they were working together in the place of work, they could not resume for work. Near, many of them died. But he resumed work within a week. And you know, after God healed him, his skin started peeling. Everything peeled up. When he resumed work, they, they even took part of the peel. They took it to lab to test. Nothing. Everything tested negative. Because God is involved. I don't want to know the kind of disease or anything in your body, in your blood system. By the power of God, you will be healed. Any of your family member, 
who has been attacked with any sickness, either cancer or coronavirus or any amen or anything that demands for divine for surgical operation, there will be a divine operation. There will be healing. God will touch them. God asked me to tell somebody that you are listening. God, to, I wrote it down here, and the Lord said that one of your family member, <laughs> one of your family member, is under attack. Is under. He said, pray for somebody family member in distress. In under sickness, under distress, pray that God will heal the, pers the, the, the person, that God should send his angel. If you are here, you are standing on behalf of somebody. You have a family member, either your son, your daughter, or any family relative that is under distress or affliction or attack of any kind. I pray for you as you say to the powerful women, let the angel of God go and deliver that person. Deliver that person. Restore that person. In the name of Jesus, heal the person. Heal the person. Deliver the person. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. The power of God is in the house this morning. And it will say to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So now let's go to the message. Hmm. The Lord told me to tell somebody that with this morning ministration, you will testify. You will testify. You will testify. God say it's your season of testimony. You that person. On that matter you are going through. Testimony, testimony. Anointing of testimony. We oh, yeah, are rest upon you. Say amen, say amen, say amen. It rests upon you, upon your family. Your family is the next one to testify. You will testify. Mark apostle to them. You will testify. You will testify. You will testify. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Before I forget, somebody who has been watching with us from the first day in Canada. She has been under attack of various dreams, manipulation, they want to kill her, and many other things, but she connected. But by the grace of God, yesterday afternoon, she called me and said, Pastor, the attack is too much. I said, don't worry, God has given you victory. The only prayer now, let us pray for you to deliver. And in the evening, yesterday, when it was 10 minutes to 12, she said, Pastor, the water has broken up, and I'm not in the hospital. By the grace of God, this morning, the husband called. She delivered peacefully, safely, naturally, in the hospital in Canada. And to let you know, the doctor, if only body wife can tell you that the delivery is a miracle, you know it's a miracle. The umbilical cord, no, uh, 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 no, no, ran the neck of the baby. So if not because of divine intervention, they said the baby should have died or should not, should not be able to come out naturally. But because of God, because of God on this VG, who has been doing it, she delivers safely between yesterday night. By yesterday night, around 11.45, 11.50, I was praying for her before I started the ministration. And by this morning, the husband called that she has put to bed. You, that person, you all may not be shy behind. You all may be marriage. You all may be business. You all may be money. You all may be healing. You may, I don't want to know the kind of thing you are going through. I speak in the name of God. As a servant of God, receive your testimony. Receive it. Receive it. Testimony. Receive it. Receive it. Your hour of testimony has come. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, to the message. Psalm 91. Please pick your Bible, any version of the Bible that you like. We are taking our prayer insurance, our protection insurance, our injection, immunity injection from the book of Psalm 91 this morning. So pick your Bible, pick your Bible. I know you see our Bible. Okay, sorry, some of you, the Bible you have is inside your phone. That is why you have to have another Bible. It's because there is no way you want to open the Bible on your phone and now you are watching me. It's not possible. So get another Bible. We want to read it. It's not a joke. It's a serious matter. Okay, there is no light where you are. Okay, hold the light. Hold the light. And hold it. Hold it. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Okay. Psalm 91. We are going to read it together. Any version that you want. I am reading from King James Version. So, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Then from verse 2, let's personalize, personalize it to yourself and your family. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress, our God, 
in him we trust. Surely he will deliver us. Surely he will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover us with his feather and under his wings shall we trust. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. We shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noon day. <laughs> I love the next verse, verse 7, which is happening now. A thousand shall fall at thy sight, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but he shall not come near us. Hallelujah. Verse 8. Only with thy hand shall thou see it in CNN, Channel Television, or any newspaper, and build and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord, which is our refuge, even the most high, our habitation. There shall no evil befall us. Neither shall any plague come nigh our dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our way. They shall bear us up in their hand, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon. We shall trample them under our feet. Why? Because we have set his love, he has set his love upon us. Therefore, he will deliver us. He will set us on high because we have known his name. We shall call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble and he will deliver us and honor us. The last verse, everybody, let's say it together. With long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. So from that place that you have read is the word of God. So God has promised full protection for us, his children. The only sure security and protection is in the hand of God. It's not in the hand of any president. It's not in the hand of Trump. It's not in the hand of uh, President Barry. It's not in the hand of medical doctor. Even though this time around, doctors, they are even running away from their life. A lot of them are be affected. A lot of them are, are, are be infected one way or the other. So your protection is not in the hand of anybody. It's not in any way. It's, in fact, in Nigeria especially, we are in a police station. They are using shame to tie down generator. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Generator, you know generator that they used to generate power. They are using shame to tie it so that robbers will not come and take it in a police station. So there is no protection in the hand of anybody. So the only sure protection that is very secure is in the hand of God. The only sure protection is by the power of the Holy Ghost. And I pray for you. You that person that you are afraid, you are afraid. As if they want to come and rob you, as if death is coming, as if you will be affected, as if you will fall down, as if you will die. You are afraid that this viral that they are talking, that is catching people, people that they don't know how it's catching them, and you are thinking, hey, may you not be me. The Lord say, you are protected. You will not be infected. Glory of Jesus, immunize us in the name of Jesus. Any of our family member, in the name of Jesus, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. We shall not be infected. We shall not be touched. Either it is airborne. Do you know now? Some months ago, they say it's not airborne. But now they have detected that it's not airborne. That is why they are making it mandatory that people should begin to wear nose masks because it's a uh, airborne. So either it is airborne or waterborne or shaking bone or whatever. In the name of Jesus, everybody. Hearing my voice through Holy Spirit and any of our family member that you are standing to represent, they shall not be affected. They shall not be affected. We are covered. We are immunized by the blood of Jesus. Our body rejects coronavirus. Our body rejects cancer. Our body rejects tumor. Our body rejects affliction. Our body rejects sickness. In the name of Jesus, divine immunization. Receive it now.
now. Divine inoculation, divine injection, divine protection. Receive it. Your children receive it. Your family receive it. Receive it. Sure protection. Sure cover. Sure protection. Sure protective gear. Oh yeah, you the blood of Jesus. Oh yeah, cover you, cover you, cover your children in the dream, in the physical. Any evil seed they have sold in your body, anything by the blood of Jesus is neutralized. In the name of Jesus, we will never follow them to die. We will not be a partaker. In the name of Jesus, after this pandemic, you will count every of your family member. We will count every of our family member. Nobody will be missing. In the name of Jesus, you will not be missing. In the name of Jesus, the isolation center, even though if it is a five star hotel, you will not know the place. Your family member will not know the place. And as many that are there now, because you are connected, maybe they are your family member and you are standing on behalf. I place a demand by the mercy of God, they will not die. They will come out alive. They will come out alive. They will be rescued by the blood of Jesus. They will be delivered by the power of the Holy Ghost. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight is a, is a special night. I believe God. So, men may try their best, but it is God that keeps from evil. No man can pre prevent, protect himself from death. Oh. Nobody, no major general can prevent himself from death. Or witchcraft attack, or marine attack, or serpentine attack, or dream attack, and all forms of spiritual oppression. It is only God that can protect our head in the day of battle. According to Psalm 140 verse 7, he said, protect my head in the day of battle. Hey, God will protect your head in the day of battle. I don't want to talk much about it. Tomorrow, so that I won't forget, please, tomorrow is air deliverance. Air what? Deliverance. Please, I beg you, make sure you connect your family member. Tell them, because we do practical head deliverance. Your destiny will be delivered in Jesus' name. And that tomorrow, get your water and oil ready. We will do, I will, we will demonstrate it. Your destiny, in the name of Jesus. So don't let me talk about air deliverance today because of tomorrow. It's going to be, in fact, as we clock 20 now, we are going to a higher terrain that things will begin to happen on its own. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So there is a limit to what anybody God can do because they are human. They can sleep up and they can be attacked as well. They can even avoid evil. But when the angel of God and the presence of God is with you, nothing can touch you. Nothing can tamper with you. Anything under the care of God is always safe. That is why you need to put everything under his care and let him ensure you, ensure your body and immunize you. The Bible says, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh in vain. So how God protects? How, how God used to protect? Number one. When God holds you in his hand like this, nothing can block you off. Let God hold you. Let God hold your family and business in his hand. Amen. <laughs> Do you know when God hold your hand like this, tell me that devil. Tell me that death. Tell me that family enemy that cannot come and remove the hand of God from your hand and say, I want to, I want to hijack you. No. Today, Masa Kupa Karaba. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you are grafted in the hand of God. In the name of Jesus. No power of hell will be able to take you from the hand of God. In Jesus' name. Two, when you commit your journey to God's hands, you will be delivered from the hand of blood-sucking demons on the road. No accident, no disaster will befall any of your family members in the name of Jesus. Three, God keeps evil away from his children and his children from evil. When you pass through water, it will not drown you. And when you pass through fire, you will not be consumed. So God may not prevent it, but we see you through. The Bible did not tell us that God will prevent us from passing through fire. He said, when you pass through fire, the fire will not burn you, according to Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 2. And he said, when you pass through the river, waters, he said, it will not overflow you. So whatever you are going through now, let me assure you, it's just a lie of the devil. It will not overcome you. That fire of persecution. That fire of enemy, that river, that thing, that a situation, the Lord has promised you will get over it. You will overcome. God will see you through. It will turn to testimony in the name of Job. Enemy behind it shall be put to shame. They will regret it in the name of Job. I say your enemy will regret for fighting you. They will regret. They will say, ah, if I know that this trouble that I put in your life, this marital problem I put in your life, this tribal uh, problem I put in your life, that it will be what God will use to celebrate you all over the world. That I, I, I will not attack you. Whatever the enemy has done to you, they will regret it because 
because God will turn it to testimony and God will use it to proclaim his name and your addresses shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Another one. Number five. God protects his children from physical and spiritual disaster. God protects his children from all evil arrows of the day and night. Number seven. God protects his children from all kinds of disease and calamity and pestilence. No matter the plan of the enemy to take away the life of a child of God, it will fail because it will always keep him from death for his name to be glorified at last. Just as he kept Job alive. No matter the plan of the enemy to kill you or to take away the trap of death they have set for you, they will fall into it. The Lord will keep you alive. As he kept Joseph Job alive and he, he, he became a testimony, I decree God will keep you alive. No matter that sickness will not take you away. That affliction, you will not die in that problem. You will not die barren. You will not die without husband. You will not die without making it. You will not die without building your house. You will not die without fulfilling your, your, the promise of God. You will not die without shame, without reproach. In the name of Jesus, God will turn it around. God that turned around the situation of Job. When the enemy, even though the friend, they were mocking him. Till the friend, they were with him, mocking him. But God turned his, his situation around. You, that person, you will not die in that situation. You will not die like that. Oh, you say you will come out. You will come out. You will marry. You will have children. You will build house. You will make it. You will travel. You will rise again. You will shine again. You the one that the enemy has granted. You used to make it before, but now they have turned you down. The Lord has me to tell you, even though when your case situation is hopeless, you don't know where you to start. You don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. And with the situation of pandemic, everything has become so worse. God says you will be delivered. You will not die like that. You will be rescued in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Number, number nine, God protects through his angelic hosts. They are numerous and invisible. They guide, they protect, they keep God's children from you. Do you know that the angel of God they are with you where you are? Some of you, you are so conscious of demon. It's demon, demon, demon you used to see. Don't see demon again. Know that when you sleep, when you dream, anywhere you go, the angel of God, they are there. They are there in thousands, in millions. So the angel of God will protect you from evil. Through the blood of Jesus, we are secured. We are insured. We are covered. This is the highest level of protection and humility. Hallelujah. No matter the plot, in number 11, the rage and the storm, God has a way of protecting his own in the face of danger. Just as he kept Daniel alive in the lion death, while his enemy became food to the hungry lion, God will keep you alive. Those who want you to die, they will die for your sake. Those who want your children to die, they will die for the sake of your children. You will live, you will fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus. Number 12. No matter the fairly level of persecution that the enemy may organize against you, God knows how to keep his children on hot. Just like the three evil, they were thrown into fire in the land of Babylon. Instead of being burnt, only the rope on their hand were burnt. And the people who threw them there. Oh, those who throw you into that furnace, those who put you into that trouble, it is their own turn to carry their load in the name of Jesus. No matter what you may be going through, you will not die with it. But the perpetrators, in the name of Jesus. Some people, they gather together under a deadly hood that if they did not kill Apostle Paul, they would not buy eat nor drink. And they targeted him, but God rescued him miraculously. God will also do the same for you. And anyone who has vowed to harm you, who has vowed that you will not escape, who has vowed that they will deal with you anyhow, and your family member, they will go for your sake. They will wait in vain. They, you will escape. Go, go, pakute, 20, they, any trap they have set for you, and they say, we will see how you will escape. We will see how your fasting and prayer will deliver you. We will see who, who is that pastor, who is that prophet that will, say, that will deliver you. By the mercy of God, you escape. You escape. You escape. You escape. And you will testify. In Jesus name. King Saul was after the life of King David, which is great also for me. But God kept David out of his hand. Who is that person that is after your life? An upliftment. Saying that you will not get to the throne that God has provided for you. God will smite them and then throw you in the name of Jesus. When all the Egyptians were dying of plague and diseases, the angel of destruction spared God's children in the same land. The lamb, the blood of Jesus, on their lips and saved them. Time the Passover blood. Therefore, the Passover blood of Jesus, no matter what is going on in the land, robbery, terrorist attack, war, outbreak of disease, 
you and your household, you will never be a victim in the name of Jesus. You will never be. The one that is flying, can you see how Bible describes? He said the pestilence that fly in the new day. And that is where the coronavirus is the one, is flying, you know, it's flying, it's a airborne. It will not touch you, it will not touch our family member. In the name of Jesus. Let me share a case with you. There was a soldier who happens to be a child of God, who believed in the potency of prayer and the word of God. It was in a fierce battle, and people were dying. Arrow was jumping up, bah, 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 bah. people were dying. But when he was going to the battle, he kept a Bible, in a small Bible, a portable Bible, inside his inner pocket. And when they shot him, the gun penetrated through his chest, and he fell down. And uh, when the enemy left, he discovered that he can wake up. He too did not know that he survived it. And when he shaked himself, he discovered that the bullet penetrated to his chest. And when the bullet got to Psalm 91, the bullet stopped. I decree today, the word of God will fortify you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It will go back to the sender. I am telling you a living testimony in the name of Jesus. Let me share another case with, with you. I wrote this case inside this book. It's a case of somebody that I know. We were together. We used to even play together, pray together. Number one, he went for a prayer. The enemy was after his life. And uh, <laughs> when he was coming, he had an accident. It was so serious. The bed could tumble. And not only that, when he escaped the accident, <laughs> they told the vehicle, as they were throwing the vehicle with him, another ambush of armed robber were laid against him. He ran inside the bush. It's possible that this person will be watching now. When he got inside the bush, he met another group of armed robbers that they nearly lynched him, and he escaped again. In fact, within five hours, he escaped about five death attempts. I decree, any attempt of death against you and your family member shall not succeed, shall not succeed, shall not succeed. In the name of Jesus, I that I'm preaching to you, I've been involved in a series of accidents. In fact, I'm supposed to have died. My name is anything cool, that is, I am a miracle that I'm standing before you. Many, I, because of our time, I will not be able to share. You too, I know your own is more than that. God has a purpose for keeping you alive. I decree, the purpose of God keeping you alive from the womb till today. Ah, that purpose will come to pass. Your enemy will wait in vain. They will not succeed. You will sing a new song. It shall be a victory at last in the name of Jesus. Now, securing God's protection. There are certain things you must do to secure God's protection. Number one, you must give your life to Jesus Christ and you to him totally. When I was praying, the Lord told me, there's somebody that you are watching tonight, you are not born again. You are still addicted to sin. You are still anger, malice, and sexual immorality is in your life. The Lord said, if you can surrender your life to Jesus Christ today and you rededicate your life to him, he will save you and he will deliver you from that problem. You are sick of meeting sin. You are struggling with sin. It's not the best. So, please, I, I, this one, specifically, I wrote it down. And I'm delivering the message. I deliver the message. Don't only be prayer, prayer, prayer. Die. Wishes. Die. If you are not born again, if you are still living in sin, the enemy will be laughing at you. And I pray, any sin that will make your prayer to be in vain, let, let God deliver you. So, if you are that person, to secure God's protection, to secure God's healing, for you to receive the immunization, this is the condition. You must be born again. If you are that person that you are committing that sin, that you are addicted to that sin, and you know yourself, you have been saying, God, God has sent me to you. Repent this morning. Repent, 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 repent. Because <laughs> God wants to have mercy upon you. God wants to fight for you. If God wants to fight for you, and you are still living in sin, how will God fight for you? How will God? You are doing what God hates, and you are saying, God, come and fight for me. No. So God wants to fight seriously for you. Make sure you surrender your life. Make sure I will pray for you after this message. <laughs> then, let the word of God dwell in you richly. Meditate on it daily. Pray without ceasing with absolute faith. Be committed to the things of God always. Then, number five, give to the work of God generously. Give offering. Don't say you are on lockdown. Send, give your offering. Send it online to your church, to your pastor. Give seed of faith. Pay your tithe, bless ministry, and the new ministers of God. By so doing, you are promoting divine protection. Always, number six, always commit your way, your journey, and day-to-day -day activity to the hand of God. 
Obey the leading of the Holy Spirit and do not live in disobedience. Do not allow sin and the enemy to draw you out of God's possession in order to strike you. Number eight, pull down the whole hammer of God according to Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. And I pray as you do all this thing, the Lord will answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Now, we are going to read prayer session. Well, this morning we want to receive divine protection, divine immunization. And I appreciate God in your life. No. Let us pray the preliminary prayers. And we are taking this prayer from the book of Psalm 91. Please don't close that Psalm 91. Number one, you that person that you are there, that God mentioned of you, I want to pray for you. God is looking at you now. Anywhere you are, before the phone, just raise up your hand. Just do like this. See me as I have done. Just do your hand like that to the phone. You want to surrender your life. You are sick badly with some sin. You want to rededicate your life. Just do like this to your phone. Do like that. Uh -huh. In the presence of God. You are raising your hand. That is what I call. You are responding to what I call. And I want to pray. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Lord, have mercy upon me. Break every yoke of sin in my life. I rededicate my life unto you. Save my soul. As from today, deliver me from that sin. Help me to do your will. Lord, change me. You, that person, God wants to use you globally. It is sin that is preventing you. Say, God, break the yoke of sin in my life. Let my glory shine. Deliver me by your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, we go to the prayer. Everybody, you have been covered with the blood of you. Forget about the sin. God has forgiven you. You are no longer a sinner. You are a child of God. So don't allow any guilty conscience. Let's go to the reality. Let's stand up. Stand up, my sister. Stand up. Oh, this is the hour of prayer. God will bless you. You cry, mama. You cry, mama. But don't lie down on the bed. The prayer we want to pray is not a prayer that you will lie down on the bed. And you are, you are, you are dosing like this. No, 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 no. Please. You see that you stand up very well. And then be att attentive. Or you stand up. The best is to stand up. I told you. Deliverance prayer is not a Jelenke prayer. It's not a psychedelic prayer. So you must be on fire. Oh, yeah. Receive strength to stand up. Receive strength. Receive strength. You will not be tired. Receive strength. You that person that you are tired, you are weary. Receive strength in the name of God. Receive power of God. Receive the anointing of God in Jesus' name. Number one, let's begin to thank God for the past protection that you have enjoyed. The fact that you are alive today, that God spare your life today, that God has not allowed you to die, that God has not given you your life to the hand of the enemy. It's, 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 it's what you pray. Begin to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you. Begin to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you for saving me, for keeping me alive, for keeping my family member alive. I thank you because my situation is not hopeless. I appreciate it. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to sing this song because we want to plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, oh, the blood. Of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood, amen. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus over yourself. Say, blood of Jesus, cover me, cover my family, cover my car, cover my company, cover my ministry, everything that pertains with, with to me, my children, everything. Blood of Jesus, begin to flow. We oh, yeah, plead it, plead it. Blood of Jesus, super blood of Jesus, super blood of Jesus, super blood of Jesus. I capo to baba, blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. Rabba soto rika rabba baba sura. Ye soto rika rabba baba sura. Maja katani baba sura. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, neutralize every sickness in my body. Blood of Jesus, neutralize every attack, every yoke of darkness in my body. Blood of Jesus, flow, flow, flow. Oh yeah, pray, 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 pray. Be aggressive. Don't be tired. Do oh, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Don't be prayerless. Don't be weak. Don't pray the sacrilegious prayer. In in that Copa Cato, even though when you are abroad, pray, 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 pray like, like somebody that is, is serious. Pray the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, cover me, cover me, heal me, deliver me, blood of Jesus, cover me, heal me, deliver me, blood of Jesus, cover me, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Maka pusu turika baba basuda, yeke busundu kuturika baba basuda. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, blood of Jesus, neutralize 
every evil arrow, every poison, every weapon of the enemy against me, against my children, against my work. Blood of Georgia begin to neutralize it. Whatever they have done against me in the realm of the spirit, in my body, in my organ, in my kidney, in my reproductive system, anything they have done, blood of Jesus, neutralize it. Blood of Jesus, neutralize it. Neutralize it. Neutralize it. Neutralize it. Oh, yeah, pray, pray, pray. Pray it. Pray it. I love the way you are praying. That sister, something is happening. Can you see? Can you see what you are feeling now? Oh, yeah, don't stop. The power of God is eating you hard now. Yes, you that pastor, receive the blood of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Mark up Sutra. In Jesus' name we pray. Super blood of Jesus. Come and deliver me. The blood that flows in Calvary. Come and deliver me. Super blood of Jesus. Super blood of Jesus. Come and deliver me. The blood that flows in Calvary. Come and deliver me. We oh, are deliver. Come and deliver. We oh, are deliver. Come and deliver me. We oh, are deliver. Come and say, say, oh, deliver. Come and deliver me. Come and deliver. Come and deliver me. In the name of Jesus, ha <laughs> ha, deliver, come and deliver. Super blood of Jesus, come and deliver me. We are deliver. Holy Bassa, Copa, Papa, Sunday, Capoya. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Holy Bacamba, Cataraba. Come and deliver me. Come and deliver me. Say, 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 say. In the name of Jesus, ha <laughs> ha, he's doing something now. Blood of Jesus, come and deliver me. In Jesus' name we pray. By the blood of Jesus, you are fortified. By the blood of Jesus, you are delivered. You and your family member, your children, everyone, you are covered with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray. <laughs> you are going to pray. You will sing this song. Jump out, jump out. Jump out, jump out. If you are in my body, jump out. Any sickness in my body, jump out. Oh yeah, oh. jump out, jump out. Jump out, jump out. If you are in my body, jump out. Any sickness in my body, jump out. Jump out, jump out, jump out. Jump out, jump out, jump out. If you are in my body, jump out. Any sickness in my body, jump out. Jump out, jump out by fire, jump out. Oh yes, jump out by fire, jump out, jump out, jump out. Come on, jump out. Any sickness, if you are, if you seed, if you plantation, any attack, any sickness, any arrow, any bondage, any yoke in your body. From your head to toe, in your spirit, son, and body, jump out, jump out. Begin to say, jump out. In Jesus' name, we pray. So you are going to pray. The Bible says, any tree which my father has not planted shall be rooted up. Say, in the name of Jesus, any evil plantation, any any attack, any sickness, any evil arrow, anything the devil has planted, causing bad luck, causing barrenness, causing failure, evil plantation, evil seed in my body, in my system, in the name of Jesus, any virus, any bacteria, you are the word of God, in the name of Jesus, out by fire, jump out, out, we are dry up, dry up, jump out, dry up, jump out, command it, command it, uh -huh. Holy Spirit is working now. The power of God is walking, is walking, is walking out, out, jump out by fire, jump out by fire, jump out. Pray, 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 pray. In that, don't allow any distraction. I want you to pray and concentrate in the cup of cup of to river. Jump out, jump out, jump out, jump out. Evil arrow, every attack, evil attachment, evil any sickness, any kidney problem, any blood problem, any sickness, any affliction, any fibroid, any typhoid, any cancer, any tumor. Any brain problem, any epilepsy, any insanity, any worry, any evil mark, anything God has not planted, we are jump out, be removed by fire. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive divine immunity <laughs> against any attack, against coronavirus, against any, any cancer, my body, my system. Spirit, soul, and body. The body of my children. Reject affliction. Reject virus. Reject sickness. I am immunized. I am covered with the blood of Jesus against pestiness, against pandemic. I have my family member. Wherever I may have family member, in any part of the world, we are rescued. We are covered. We are immunized. We are protected. We are begin to pray it. Begin to pray it. Blood of Jesus. We are immunized. We receive the immunization in the blood of Jesus. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. 
and see it by fire, and see it by fire. Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, blood of Jesus, divine immunization. Oh, yeah, enter my body as from today. My body receives divine immunization with the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Oh, yeah, I circulate all my body now in the Kapoko to river, Makaposu to Keta river, Babasira. Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Divine protection. Physically. Spiritually. Against robbery attack. Against assassin. Against spiritual robbers. In the physical. In the dream. In the name of Jesus. I am my family member. We receive the protection of God. We receive. We are protected by the power of God. By the angel of God. No evil will touch us. We are, we are protected. Divine protection over my wife, over my children, over my husband, over my family member, over the church, over the ministry member, anywhere we may be. We are protected. Divine protection upon us. Divine protection in the dream, in the physical. No evil bullets. No attack. No manipulation. We have begin to pray it. Decree it. Decree it. Mazakopo. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rababa Soto de Babasuda. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the remaining five minutes for prayer. We see have ten minutes more, but five minutes. We want to pray from the scripture from Psalm 91. And uh, you will see after me. Please don't be distracted. Say it after me. We want to pray from Psalm 91. That is you see, when you pray from the word of God, devil cannot stand against it. Psalm is working, you know, don't allow anybody to confuse you. There's power in the word of God. So now we want to pray from, so say after me. Say, oh Lord, let me dwell in your secret place and abide under your shadow. In Jesus' name, amen. My father and my creator, come and build my refuge and fortress henceforth in Jesus' name. By your mighty hands, deliver me from every snare of the enemy, in Jesus' name. Drive away pestilence, cancer, fibroids, infection, and all kind of diseases from me and my household, in Jesus' name. O Lord God Almighty, cover me and my household with your feathers and wings, in the name of Jesus. O Lord God Almighty. Deliver me and my family member from the terror of the night and from the arrow that flies in the day. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Deliver me from the pestilence that walk about in darkness and the destruction that goes about in the daytime. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No matter the tragedy and disaster, I and my family member, we shall not be a victim. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say this very well. No evil shall befall me and my family. And no plague will come near our dwelling. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. O oh, ye angels of God and the hosts of heaven, by the mercy of God, take charge and protect me and my household from all evil in Jesus name amen by the authority in the name of Jesus I tread upon lion <laughs> the dragon and the harder and I shall not be hurt as, as we trample them under our feet in the name of Jesus I pray oh Lord for sun earth prosperity and long life according to your word in the name of Jesus O rock of ages hide me and my household in Jesus' name. Say it. Every evil plan, tragedy, and trap set against me and my household. Catch the setter and the owner in the name of Jesus. I ensure and immun immunize myself from all attack and tragedies in Jesus' name. I neutralize every effect of eating in the dream. Astral poisoning and witchcraft arrow in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 121, O oh Lord, do not allow evil of the sun and of the moon to smite me by day, nor by night, in Jesus' name. Say, O oh Lord, preserve me from all evil, preserve my soul as well, in Jesus' name. 
Say, oh Lord, preserve all my going out and my coming in, in Jesus' name. Say, I claim the power of divine protection by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Untimely deaths, pass over me and my entire household by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. I claim the power for all years, all year round sources by the blood of Jesus. Almighty Father, I commit my life into your hand. I commit my family into your hand. Keep us wherever the hand of the enemy. Keep us where the hand of the enemy cannot touch us in the name of Jesus. Unchangeable God, don't let us be a prey in the mouth of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, frustrates all conspiracies and evil scheme against us in the name of Jesus. Father, don't let us, don't let me die young. My children will not die young. No family member will die long. But let us live to declare your works in the land of the living, in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, I commit my life into your hand. Please satisfy me with long life and early life in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, my life is in your hand. Please cover me with your feather. Don't allow any sickness or infirmity to come near me in the name of Jesus. Say, Most High God, my life is in your hand. Please be my defense in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, my life is in your hand. Please be my refuge and my fortress in the name of Jesus. Say, Almighty Father, I commit my life, the life of my family member, into your hand. Deliver us from the snare of the wicked that haunt out our lives and our soul, night and day, in the name of Jesus. Say, thank you, Father, for being our divine protection in Jesus' name. Now, we want to take our heart. We want to take part of the inoculation, your oil, your water, your family picture. We are going to anoint ourselves and we are going to drink water this morning. So if you don't have water around you, go and get it. I want to give you five seconds more. And if there is any of your children that is around there, they are sleeping, wake them up. Call any of your family member now. We want to pray. All the scripture we have been reading has been going through our water and our oil. And I want to still pray. Mazakapa Yaraba. Say Atami, say power of God for divine immunization, for divine immunity, for divine inoculation, power of God for divine protection, for healing, for restoration, anointing to back to the center, anointing of touch not, anointing my daddy can see a mima, mazakatariba, suturiba, anointing that fortify, anointing that heal, anointing that restore. We are flowing to this oil, flowing to this water. Flow, 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 flow. Power. I turn this oil and this water. I turn everything to the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the first thing you will do, open your oil. As I open mine. Okay? Put part of the oil in your hand. Then use it to touch your Say, You do like this. Three times. Say, I cover myself. With the blood of Jesus, I receive the mark of the blood of Jesus. I receive divine immunization, divine protection. The, the blood of Passover is over me. I stand on behalf of my family, every one of them, that from today, they are covered. We are all covered with the blood of Jesus. No sickness, coronavirus, you will not touch us. Even though if you are moving from one house to the other, you will not enter our house. You will not enter our body. We reject it. All the pestilence, all the disease that is killing people now, that is killing the young and the old, every form of attack of affliction, sickness, pestilence, a pandemic, and cancer, tumor, any form, head problem, anything will not touch us because the blood of Jesus protects us, immunizes us in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Anoint your children there, anoint every one of them. Anoint them, anoint them. Now, 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 anoint them. Yes, anoint them. By the anointing, they are covered with the blood of Jesus. Every one of us, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. Now, take your water. <laughs> Even though if it is pure water, tear it, don't worry. I know you will not be able to keep the rest. So this water, we want to drink it now. When you want to bath, either now or when the day break, pour part of the water inside the bathing water so that you will be covered physically and spiritually. You are, look at me, say, I drink the blood of Jesus. For divine immunization. Blood of Jesus. Flow through every part of my body. 
and immunize me and deliver me. Blood of Jesus, flow to every part of my body from this morning and from today. My internal organ, my external organ, reject infection, reject sickness. You are covered. You are immunized with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus, with the power of Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and that of my children. If you have family members that are not around you, keep the oil, part of it, give them some and keep them. Uh, if they are not here, anoint their picture and begin to prophesy to them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, this is the prophetic direction for this morning. I've mentioned two of them. Number one, somebody you are there, you are under the bondage of fear, worry, depression, and frustration. I pray for you. Every yoke of depression and worry and frustration, get out of your life. That you are just words. As if something evil will happen. You just don't know why you are even worried. Every attack of worry, every attack of depression, every attack of fear and frustration disappear in your life in the name of God. Somebody you are dreaming of death, 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 death and calamity. By the blood of Jesus, by the authority in the name of God, it is cancelled. It is cancelled in Jesus. The Lord asked me to pray for single mothers, single parents, mature single for divine connection. No matter your age, the Lord will connect you. You that single parent, you that mature single, maybe you are with a child or not, but you arrive for marriage and you know something is behind your single. Where the enemy has kept you for you not to marry, oh yeah, come out. I break that yoke over your life now. By the mercy of God, even though if they say the population of women is more than men, that is human calculation. Before the end of this year, divine connection by fire. Oh yeah, wherever your husband, your wife may be, oh yeah, divine arrangement, divine connection. Let the Lord connect you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh yeah, let that your son, let that your daughter get married, get husband now, now, now. Before the end of this year, even though when people are not moving out, that is when God will do it. Go, do it, do it. It is settled. You will testify. Ah, we are praying for the sick. As many of our, your family members that are sick, let the Lord heal them. As many that are afflicted, let them receive healing. As many that the fire arrow and they attack you, receive healing in the name of Jesus. Say after me seven times. That's how Holy Spirit is leading me. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it seven times. Say every target touch and program evil arrow against me. Any target touch and program evil arrow. Hear the word of God. Evil arrow and attack. Program and targeted against me. My wife, my children, in the name of Jesus, jump out, back to the sender, 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 in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen, it is settled. Pray for those who are under the bondage of sin, anger, malice, sexual sin, God breaks you, God will use you, you will rise again, whatever you have lost to sin, God restore it back in the name of Jesus. And I want to pray. Lastly, the Lord asked me to pray for that person. Say a powerful amen. From today, doors of breakthrough and turn around that have been locked against you. Open, 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 open. In the name of God, doors of breakthrough and turn around prosperity. Oh yeah, open by fire, open by fire. In the name of Jesus, it is settled in Jesus' name. Amen. That is where we are stopping for today. By the grace of God, this is the 28th day. Tomorrow is 24th day. We are starting another episode. Ed Delibra, please invite as many as possible. The power of God will deliver us. So we are on Instagram. You can also watch the past episode on YouTube. All this thing is very, very important. It is well with you. By 10 a.m. this morning, we will be doing our Sunday service live and i'll be ministry please still connect us on the same platform send your testimonies and the lord will bless you let's share the grace may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of our life and you shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen till the powerful hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. I love you with the word love of Christ. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.